Welcome to another video dedicated to working with tension during group development workshops. In this video, I will present three exercises to help release tension from the body, as well as a series of discussion questions to ask participants after completing these exercises. Exercise Shaking The aim of this exercise is to relax the entire body by performing a series of small loosening movements over a longer period. The group spreads out in any scattered manner on the floor maintaining a distance from each other that is at least equal to arm's reach, or any other that the space conditions allow. To start, participants close their eyes and take several deep breaths, standing firmly on their heels, with a slight straddle. They focus on their bodies, analyzing it from the top of the head, through all body parts, down to the feet. The facilitator's role is to give instructions for the next phases of the exercise, encourage its full implementation, and also remind about the task to people who start conversations or other activities. In case of people who decide to interrupt the exercise, the facilitator should agree to this decision, so that they can as soon as possible take the position of the observer and not disturb others. First part. Participants dynamically rise on their toes and let their bodies fall on their heels at a fast pace. They allow their bodies to abruptly stop when the heels hit the ground causing the whole body to shake like jelly. Keeping aware of the possibility of pain, they continue this exercise, striving to reach a state in which the whole body vibrates like jelly. Second part. Participants transfer the sense of jelly to various parts of the body once it is in one hand, once in both, once in the back, once in the legs. They pay special attention to the pelvic area and the lower back. From here they perform slow movements, still shaking. They focus on different places in space and engage particular body parts, for example the head, neck, right or left leg, while maintaining concentration on shaking the pelvis. They perform this part for at least five minutes, if possible, longer. Third part. They raise their hands up, now the whole body is shaking, and this particular position helps to reduce tension. The facilitator should allow for resting the hands, however, this does not mean agreement to interrupt the exercise. They return to raising hands and shaking the entire body. The group or facilitator can count down from 10 to 1 and at 1 they drop their hands with a loud pronunciation of this number. The discussion of the exercise aims at understanding the body's reaction to movement and unlocking. How did you feel during the exercise? What ailments, obstacles, blockages, difficulties did you notice in your body during its duration? How did your mind react? What thoughts appeared? What motivated you to continue the exercise? What feelings arose during it? How did you feel after finishing the exercise? What changed in your state after it ended? What conclusions can be drawn from these observations? How can the introduction of relaxing exercises affect your psychophysical state? How can a change in the body's state support the mind's functioning? How can the introduction of such exercises support your daily life? Exercise, relax. This exercise aims to transform the psychophysical state from tension to relaxation. It is based on the assumption that relaxing the body leads to a change in mental state. It consists of intense and organized tensing of various muscle groups to relax the entire body. The leader should stress the need to participate in the task in silence and focus and ask to avoid any interaction with other people in the group. Sit on cushions, chairs, blankets, straighten your spine. Take a few deeper breaths. Relax your body and mind. Focus all your attention on your body. Tighten both fists. Notice the tension in your forearms. Relax your muscles. Touch your shoulders with your fingers and raise your arms. Examine the muscle tension. Relax your muscles. Shrug your shoulders as high as you can. Examine the muscle tension. Relax your muscles. Squeeze your eyelids. Examine the muscle tension. Relax your muscles. Frown your forehead. Examine the muscle tension. Relax your muscles. Press your tongue against the roof of your mouth. Examine the muscle tension. Relax your muscles. Clench your teeth. Examine the muscle tension. Relax your muscles. Throw your head back. Examine the muscle tension. Relax your muscles. Drop your head forward. Examine the muscle tension. Relax your muscles. 
Arch your back. Examine the muscle tension. Relax your muscles. Take a deep breath. Examine the muscle tension. Relax your muscles. Take three deep breaths. Examine the muscle tension. Relax your muscles. Draw in your stomach. Examine the muscle tension. Relax your muscles. Tighten your abdominal muscles. Examine the muscle tension. Relax your muscles. Tighten your buttocks. Examine the muscle tension. Relax your muscles. Pull your thighs, straighten your legs. Examine the muscle tension. Relax your muscles. Point your toes up. Examine the muscle tension. Relax your muscles. Curl your toes. Examine the muscle tension. Relax your muscles. Notice changes in your well-being. How did this practice affect your tensions? How do you feel now? What emotions accompany you? What is your energy level? How did the practice affect your body? Describe for yourself the benefits of implementing such a practice. Pay attention to which life situations, during which tasks you can use this practice to reduce stress and emotional tension. What are your impressions after performing this practice? Was the practice easy or difficult to perform? What happened to your tensions, emotions, difficulties? How do you feel now? In which life situations, during which tasks can you use this practice to reduce the level of stress and emotional tension? Breathing exercise. A breathing exercise that helps transition from a state of tension to a state of relaxation. It works by focusing on the breath, diverting attention from what causes tension, oxygenating and relaxing the mind. The instructor should inform about the necessity to participate in the exercise in silence and concentration, and also ask to refrain from any interactions with other people in the group. Put your hand on your stomach, below the rib line. Draw in air, observing whether your stomach rises. If so, that's good, if not, try to find a way of breathing that will cause such a movement. When everyone has mastered this way of breathing, we will proceed. Straighten your backs. You can close your eyes. You can think about anything. Breathe in the following way. Inhale through your nose. Exhale through your mouth. At the end of each inhalation hold your breath and then exhale. Do not breathe deeper than usual. Focus your attention on how the air enters through your nose and exits through your mouth. Keep your attention on how your abdomen rises and falls. Count breaths. Do 10 breaths like this or end the exercise when I give a signal. It is especially important not to breathe very deeply, much deeper than usual. After the signal, 10 breaths, move slowly to a normal state. Let's sit in a circle. What impressions did practicing diaphragmatic breathing bring you? What specific changes do you notice in your body, thinking, emotions? How can these changes be generalized? Calmness, Comfort, contact with oneself, relief, lightness, freedom, how can this practice help in stressful, emotional situations? Reduction, in what situations can you use this practice? Exercise, body scan. An exercise that supports the transition from a state of tension to a state of relaxation. It works by focusing on the body, sensations, organs, drawing attention away from what causes tension oxygenating and relaxing the mind. The leader should announce the need to participate in the exercise in silence and concentration, and ask to refrain from any interactions with other participants. Sit comfortably on blankets or cushions and relax. Straighten your back. Perform a body scan. Consciously be aware of how much tension there is in the various parts of your body. Close your eyes. Take three deep breaths. Experience the parts of the body in succession, starting from the top of your head, going through the face, eyes, ears, mouth, cheeks, neck, back, arms, elbows, hands, chest, back, buttocks, thighs, calves, down to your feet. Each time you shift your focus to a new place in the body, breathe. Don't rush. Notice muscle tension, skin, direct your awareness there, breathe into this place and relax it. Take three more breaths and open your eyes. Sit in groups of three and answer the questions, what observations did you make, 
How many tensions did you notice? Were you able to relax them with your breath? Now let's sit in a circle. How can these body tensions affect our daily life? How can we change our lives by being aware of these tensions and relaxing them through mindful and attentive bodywork with the breath? What can be improved? What do we need to work on? This exercise helps in building awareness of places in the body that are centers of tension and the importance of focusing attention on them. It shows the connection between directing attention to tensions and overall well-being. The facilitator should announce the necessity of participating in the exercise in silence and focus, and also ask to refrain from any interactions with other participants. Draw a human silhouette on a sheet of paper. Guided by your awareness, mark on it both known and unknown areas, areas of pain and illness, areas of pleasure and well-groomed, for example, places you regularly subject to cosmetic treatments, massages, etc., as well as areas you like and dislike. Notice which of the questions gave you the most difficulty, which were just a challenge, and which were simple. Pay attention to which parts and aspects of your body you deal with pay attention to daily, and which you don't. Notice what consequences this brings, if you don't deal with them, or benefits, if you do. Choose one to three areas aspects of your body that you decide to take care of in the near future, write down from when. Notice in which parts of the body you feel the most tensions. Sit in pairs and answer each other's questions. What did I discover? What did I not know before? What has dawned on me? What have I been paying attention to so far? What have I not been paying attention to recently? What will I be more attentive to now? How was it to find and become aware of the most tense parts of the body and how does focusing on them affect me? Let's sit in a circle. What is worth paying attention to? What distracts our attention? How does it happen that we lose awareness of our body? What can we gain by having more awareness? What signal about ourselves does the state of our body give us? What can more frequent attention to this part of the body give me? How can it affect my tension? How will I treat my body differently from now on?